Hi there everyone on YouTube, this is Jeff from JeffMobile.com and welcome to the next episode of the 360 Chef Cooking with Jeff. Today I'm going to make a recipe that is very simple and very cheap. The total ingredients for this recipe cost less than $3 and so it is macaroni and cheese out of the box made in an instant pot in half the time it usually takes to make macaroni and cheese. So come a bit closer and I'll show you the ingredients we're going to be using for the recipe today. Alright, so if you have a look down here, we've got um, No Name President's Choice White Cheddar Macaroni and Cheese. This costs about $1 or less, or maybe $2. It's the standard box macaroni and cheese. There's also the kind you can get like Kraft Dinner or other Annie's mac and cheese, they're all, they're all good. They're all the same, pretty much to me. I've got one cup of water measured in the Pyrex. I think it looks like one in a one and a quarter cup. That's fine. I've got a bit of butter. This is just some Trader Joe's butter, uh, unsalted, and I use, use a bit of that. So come over here to the instant pot. Um, basically, just dump in the noodles into the instant pot. Oops, the last one. Dump in the noodles, and then dump in the one cup of water. And I'll use maybe half a tablespoon of, of butter, or just whatever I get here, just a nice, nice little amount. The butter is optional if you want a more healthy food with less fat, you can just omit the butter altogether. So uh, just give it a stir and that's it. So just pop the lid in, lid on. For the instant pot, you want to make sure that your sealing ring is in place. And you also want to make sure that the top part of your pot is dry so it will form a nice seal. So that looks like very good. Pop this on. There we go, and make sure your your dial is set to ceiling. And I'll show you what I'm doing with the dial here. So I want to set it at pressure cook for four minutes and turn off the keep warm setting. So we're going to let this cook for uh, the four minute countdown of the pressure cycle. What it first does is going to heat up to the full pressure inside the pot with the water um, will be turned to steam and there'll be high pressure in the pot. Then it will count down from four minutes. After four minutes is done, we'll, we're gonna, just gonna um, tr unplug it and release the valve with, called the quick release. And then we'll just stir in some of these frozen peas and a bit of water and, this, and the sauce package, which comes with the macaroni and cheese. So the instant pot is now counting down for four minutes and you can see a bit of steam coming out of the vent, but it's currently at high pressure inside the pot. It's very important to be safe to not have the cord going off the counter because the worst thing that can happen if it's high pressure is if it falls off the counter, hits the floor, it could explode. As long as it stays on the counter, it's, inside the pot is pretty safe. Um, but yeah, it's a very great tool that lets you cook food a lot faster than stovetop methods. Okay, so the Instant Pot just finished beeping. It means it finished its four minute cycle. And now it's turned off because we disabled the keep warm setting. And we're gonna turn on the vent fan here and uh, vent out the steam from the Instant Pot using a quick release. Quick release is when you turn the vent on the top, the steam comes out at a high rate and then it becomes depressurized. Open the lid now, you can see what's inside. Opening the lid's always the funnest part of instant pot cooking. So the noodles are all done. I'm gonna mix in this bag of frozen peas, which I really enjoy a lot of frozen peas. The frozen peas are optional, so you don't have to put them if you don't want to. But I do love myself some frozen peas quite a few of those and I also mix in this 
sauce mixture that comes with the macaroni and cheese. Just dump that sauce in there. And there's not very much liquid in there. You can add a bit more liquid to mix it up. Let's see. Yeah, I'll add a bit more water. Just cold water is fine, just a little bit of that. And just stir it to mix everything together. This defrosts the peas at the same time as mixing in the cheese sauce. It's healthy and cheap. That's the thing I like about this meal is you can really afford it if you just spend a dollar on the noodles and maybe a couple dollars for a bag of frozen peas. Put some cracked pepper on the noodles like we do in the restaurant. And another thing you can add, which is really nice, is sriracha hot sauce. So put some of that on too. Have a look. This, noodles here, a bit of that hot sauce. You can also add ketchup if you like, but the hot sauce will be good for me today. Okay, now for the taste test. Let's see this delicious food here and see how it tastes. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That's delicious. All right, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. For more recipe videos from jeffmobile.com, please subscribe to me here on YouTube. Hope to see you again next time to explore instant pot cooking at home. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.